Okay. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. We are prepared to enter the black hole. This is a uh, game that was uh, originally released by Gottlieb back in 1981. I think it's at October of 81. Uh, this table was recommended to me by my good buddy, Rob, up in Colorado. Uh, long time friend, really good friend. Uh, I got to turn the volume down. Uh, but he had recommended this one along with a couple others that I'll get to eventually, but I told him I'd do this one next. And uh, so I'm doing this. Um, I have, uh, I was trying a new camera system, so I had a couple failures trying to make videos, so I do have a little bit of practice on this. I'd never heard of it or seen it before Rob told me about it. So, uh, but I have learned a few things. Uh, over here you have a captive hole that you have to activate by getting these targets. Um, I've never done it yet. The lights will light up and you not put the lights out. This bottom one is a pain. Um, if you hit it up in here, it goes to this lower play field. And I think you have to hit, I don't know if it's these targets or these targets while it's there to get the re-entry. See, it switches to that re-entry. If you don't, it goes down. When you lose it there, you lose the ball. Um, you got drop targets here and here. You got two flippers on the left, two flippers on the right. There is a little deal here, so you can catch the ball on that one. And there is a center bumper that will uh, sometimes help you. Um, let me put in a quarter which gives me zero credits, put in a second quarter, which gives me four credits. That's nice. Um, I guess in that 700 or whatever that is, 7 million something, it's supposed to be the high score. I don't get it ever even close to that. But, uh, I'm not a big fan of going underneath the table because I still haven't figured out for sure how to get the re-entry. Oh, that's nice, getting it up there. Because these lights up here, you need to get those out, and they are not the kind that change when you flip the flipper. Oh, there, I got them, excellent. It's got some neat sounds, it's kind of old school, it's kind of medium school, you know, 1981, so it's not, it's not, uh, an EM machine, it's just bells, so it has sound effects, but it's not like a modern table that has, you know, all the ramps and the, oh, speech and all that stuff. Another thing to be careful on this table is this, there's no vertical here, so if you try to catch the ball and it's going too fast, it'll roll up that thing and uh, you'll lose it. I've got two of them. Ooh. Ah, now I got three of them over here. I'm trying to get that so it'll be a captive ball. I guess to go towards your multiplayer multi ball. There is a multi ball which I've never achieved. My uh Game though, I really, I really am big. It is challenging though. All right, let me see. Let me see if I can get to that bottom play field. Oh, see, they're the center thing. To see, oh no, oh, and then I panicked and I let off because I didn't want it to go up there. Darn it. Okay, let me see if I can't get up in here and get to that bottom plate. Here. Oh, you can do it from either of those. Or, or you can just get lucky. Alright, so now it's upside down, but it's still the left flipper is the left flipper button, so that's convenient. And I drained, and I did not get it. Re-entry attempt has failed. Re-entry attempt has failed. What'd I get? Learned 
128,000. That's a good game for me. Um, I did put the back class camera in a different spot. It's actually sitting on the edge of the table here. I don't tend to shake the table much, so hopefully it's not too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, it is a fun game. Oh no! This is a bad drain area. It's a big open hole. So it's pretty hard. You, the right side though, you don't there is no out lane. Other than going in the uh, you know, if you go in the under table. So that's helpful. Oh! There it almost went under. Or under. It almost went backwards up this thing and drain. Luckily it hit that bumper and popped back in. Each time you knock down a bank of targets up top, it will advance. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, well, there I got it. So that advanced this to the second one. Let's see if I can hit that. It looks like there's only one. Oh, I just missed it. Looks like there's only one up there. Come on. Failure. Oh, man. Had a sweet save down there yesterday. It's a shame that I uh, lost that video. <laughs> yeah, I was trying a new camera, and uh, it was doing the Playfield camera, and it just would stop recording. And I, had, I can't see that camera when I'm playing. No! I had two of the four. There is a captive hole here also. Uh, apparently when you get multi-ball on this, which like I said, I've never accomplished, you can have balls on the top and then underneath at the same time. I don't know. But um, yeah. So this is Black Hole. Um, I'm only going to play a couple games. And uh, yeah, thanks to Rob uh, for suggesting this to me. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I am downloading a couple new games that I'm going to be installing. And so I don't know what my next pinball game will be that I play, but I think the next, uh, the next video I do is going to be back on the uh, retro arcade game over there. And I believe I'm going to play a game of Time Pilot or two. Um, I wish I was good enough that I could do a game of Time Pilot and it would be one game for the video, but uh, it's been a while since I played Time Pilot or any of these retro games. I'm just kind of getting back into it, so um, you guys get to watch me relearn how to play. So, all right, thanks for watching if you watch this far in, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Peace!